Okay, so it is an exciting day today. We are going to Halifax to pick up our rooftop tent. It has finally arrived from China. It's been about a month of waiting and it's finally here. So this morning we, we put the hitch on the Jeep and we're heading over to Halifax. Once we get to Halifax, we need to go to the warehouse where uh, it was dropped off and uh, the, apparently the warehouse is going to give us some papers. We need to take those papers and go to the Canadian border agency, uh, CBSA. At CBSA, we will then clear customs and then we bring that back to the warehouse and then pick up our tent. So it's a bit of a process, but uh, we're gonna get that dealt with today and we'll finally have our tent. We'll probably get back today and then tomorrow morning we'll be able to do like an unboxing. Let's see how it goes. We're making a trip out of it. It's gonna be fun. We are now here at the Canada Border Service Agency. That's what CBSA stands for. Aldo's gone in to pay for the customs and get that cleared. And then once we get the papers from... How are you helping? Once we pay for customs and get the papers, we will then be able to go to the warehouse and pick up the tent. So that's what's happening right now. Aldo's in there. We'll be picking up the tent soon. Okay, so we picked up our rooftop tent. I am so excited to open it up and see what it looks like. Um, so far, we just like got a sneak peek into the box and it's just black. We open it up tomorrow, but right now, before we head back, we have one very, very, very important thing to do. So Ada and I have been craving Indian food and there aren't a lot of uh, Indian restaurants where we live. So now that we're in Halifax, we're gonna make use of this time and get some good biryani. What do you think? How does it feel to be back among traffic? Crazy. Crazy. Annoying. <laughs> it's been a while, huh? Yep. So we wanted to get authentic Indian food, but this is the closest we're going to get because we don't want to drag our trailer all the way to downtown Halifax. It is driving in this traffic is giving us driving in this traffic with these four way lanes are giving us stress right now. So this will do. I know it says Thai ivory or Thai, uh, but I did see that it says it on the website or on Google, it said Thai ivory Indian. So I'm gonna go see what the deal is. And there are some mandalas on the on the door, so it should be fine. We'll see. We'll see what I come out with. Besides, I'm hungry, so I'll be right back, okay? Bye. Hi. Hi. So I got like butter chicken, spicy fried rice, and None. It's a pretty good spread. Cowboy. Leave it. Not for you. You can't eat this. Oh, this is what I'm excited for. 
Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. I'm gonna make a mess. Butter chicken with jasmine rice, apparently. Let's put some butter chicken on the spicy, on the spicy fried rice. And then that's the real party. Oh, we come. I'll feed you on the way. So we finally arrived back home with the tent last night. We wanted to open it up last night so badly, but we waited for like daylight. We're gonna open it up right now. We are quite anxious and excited to open it. We're excited because we finally got our tent after one month of waiting, but we're also anxious and we just hope it's the right product and there's no glitches, so there's no there's nothing messed up there because it will be a pain to try to return it which we'll probably not do we'll talk more about the tent and where it came from after we rip oh, rip in after we get into it right now the box is kind of holding the tent in place like if you can see it's like that but actually the tent can fall straight into the trailer but the box is kind of holding it so in order for us to lift it out we'll have to actually cut the box open completely so i apologize this is not going to be a very clean unboxing i'm just gonna rip into it okay it'll be fun though let's get started i hope i don't cut my hand Okay, I'm gonna let Adol have the satisfaction. Doesn't look like it was packed very well. Yeah, and while we bought it, we ripped it in a few places too, right? Like with the ratchet strap, so. Here, let me give you a hand. This is what we ordered? <laughs> I think so. So they've wrapped the whole thing in plastic, which is good. So it avoids any scratches. We got it off the trailer now. Uh, it's a bit cold. So I think we'll try to open it inside. There isn't a lot of room in our house, but we may have to figure something out because it's too cold to do it out here. So, we're going to put those boxes down and then put the tent on top of it and open it up like that. We don't have a roof rack right now, so we can't really install it. We're working on a roof rack, aren't we? Yep. Kind of. Yeah. 
Have we figured out how it opens? Did they give us a manual? No. Do you know where it opens? Yeah, on that side. Like the hinges on that side? The hinges on that side. Hmm? Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Here. Okay. okay. One more here. Okay. What? How did it? It does that by itself? So what, it's got like some hydraulics and stuff that makes it go up slowly like that? It's a flap over here and I was like, what is this flap for? But then there's a hole here. So you can you can like bring a cable in and stuff I think. Yeah, no, that's wrong. That was so satisfying. Yeah, this one looks much better than that one. We have to do something about that. How about we cross it? I tried that. You try it? Of course you did. Yeah. You see that hole here? This yeah. piece of metal yeah. goes all the way here. Yeah. That's missing on this one. So it missing or it's, that's how they designed that's it? That's how they designed it probably. There has to be a metal here that can, you know, stretch it mm. so that it sits in place. I guess we could do that. It's a design flaw. This has to be tied. Okay, so let's do like a quick walk around. It is a hard shell rooftop tent. It's got two windows and an entrance. Um, so this is something we will have to deal with. It just needs to have like a little rod or something in between. It may have, it may be like a design flaw. It's something we have to fix. Um, we don't really like how it looks like this. Uh, but the front is really nice. So the tent is uh, approximately 4 feet by 5 feet. We don't know the accurate dimensions. We'll put it somewhere down here. So that is the size of the tent. Um, it has like a little awning sort of thing. It has two layers here. One and then two. And then it also has a screen in here. And then the inside is uh, padded. So the bottom is they have this aluminum aluminium <laughs> they have this aluminium um bottom and then on top of that they have this padded mattress sort of thing and then it comes with a telescopic uh ladder
not bad. It's nice and tall. Okay, they gave us two bags, probably for our shoes. Uh, I think we can hang them down there somewhere. And there's a little pouch here to put my glasses. This is the other window that opens and then there's like a screen thing. Damn, can't do anything with these gloves. So there's this layer that is um, like cloth. And then there's another layer that is like a screen layer. It's a screen. And then there's this layer that's uh, oh, plastic. And then outside we have that awning thing. So there are three layers to this window, which is pretty good. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like this really nice velvety feel. Here, let me show you. It's, it, it feels really good. It's it's actually like a little cushion. It's a little cushiony, so it feels good and it's soft. And I think if we have pillows here, we can just lean up against this and that'll be like a nice headboard type thing because we like to watch our movies in here. <laughs> we will like to watch our movies in here. And then we've got this foam and I think it's about like one inch it's probably less than one inch uh it's pretty good like it's pretty comfortable right now and then there's this outlet thing that i mentioned actually i don't think it's an outlet i think this is just a way for them to cover up that gap where the the hinge is or where it opens but i think this gap is perfect for us to bring in anything that we want to like if we were at a campsite and we got power or something and i think we can bring that cable in right So we bought this tent from a seller in China through Alibaba. Tent itself costs 650 US dollars, but that's not the final price of the tent. There is a lot of other costs involved. We really want to talk about this tent in detail and how we ordered it because a lot of research and a lot of work went into it, but it still turned out to be cheaper than a hard shell tent that we could buy here. So we really want to make a a separate video about how we bought this tent and the cost involved in buying this tent so that it can help anyone who's looking for a budget tent uh, they can also go through the process through that process and buy uh, a tent like this so we want to save that for a separate video i think that's it for this week's video uh we're gonna close this baby up and go inside and get warmed up and like i mentioned we will be making a video a detailed video on how we ordered this tent so if you do have any questions regarding that or just any questions regarding this tent in general leave those questions in the comments below so we can answer it in that video but yeah that's about it like this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel and leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below that's it thanks bye also give us some money on patreon <laughs>